There's a civil service civil war over rivers in England, and landowners are the innocent civilians in the firing line. This is work to prevent bank erosion on the River Tone in Somerset, carried out by the local farmer, with support from the countryside stewardship scheme, so sanctioned by DEFRA. At the River Lug in Herefordshire in 2020, Natural England and the Environment Agency attacked a farmer for clearing the overgrown banks of the river. The farmer, 66-year-old John Price, says he carried out the works to prevent erosion. Even angling bodies are attacking Mr Price. There isn't much to end up thinking, and there is a failure to enforce. Therefore, farmers, whoever they might be, think that they can take things into their own hands and, and do work. Um, it may also be that the Environment Agency and the other bodies gave the wrong indicators to the, the farmers and, and led them to believe they could do what they could do. I mean, it seems quite clear, you know, on a basis of common sense, that if you've got a protected site, you don't chop down all the trees, you don't redirect the river, you don't dig it out and canalise it. You know, obviously there's going to be environmental damage, and if it's a protected site, it's more sensitive than others, so don't do it. However, Mr Price says the Environment Agency asked him to clear the undergrowth. The Environment Agency told Field Sports News that two months later Mr Price is still under investigation and so they won't comment. Back in Somerset, farmer Ashley Vellicott explains his works. Yes, so this is just a fraction of some of the timber that we've extracted this winter. Um, and it's great stuff, although it's water older, stack it for six months, it's brilliant firewood. Uh, but all of this is going to be chipped and uh, used for biomass for, you know, uh, for heating and burning. Before we actually um, came in here and started uh, felling and tidying up, I mean, there was just uh, masses and masses of timber all overhanging the river. Um, quite a lot of the larger stools were going to become a problem in a very, very short space of time because of the maturity and the weight and the and the possible effects of erosion and them landing in the river and we've now created uh you know a nice piece of river where they can come and fly cast catch their wild brown trout um but we've still maintained some timber habitat and shade for 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 birds and fish and what about getting natural england and the environment agency involved no ne neither of those bodies got involved at all it is purely to do with uh flag um, was, the, was the point of contact, uh, countryside stewardship, which is obviously a part of DEFRA, uh, are, the, are the people that, that produce the paperwork and, and authorise it all. They came to me and said, gosh, what a jolly good idea, that can only benefit what we're trying to achieve. There is no single government agency in charge of rivers or river catchments. What's now the Environment Agency removed the role of river warden, so there is little local official responsibility. The water companies, formerly water boards, are mainly interested in extraction, and it looks like the environmental activists in government, such as Tony Juniper, appointed to run Natural England and pictured here plugging the benefits of beavers in Devon, are trying to prise open those divisions within the civil service. They are trying to scare landowners into abandoning their land to wilderness. Meanwhile, existing grant schemes, such as countryside stewardship, are rewarding active land management.